Hello, my name is Diego Perez. And I am Patrick Paragas. And today, we're going to teach you how to pass a volleyball. I got it. So before we start passing, we need to work on footwork. Um, you want your feet actually a little more than shoulder width apart. I know most people say shoulder width apart, but it should be a little more than that. And get low. And I mean, you need to move to the ball. So the first thing you should work on is shuffling your feet, like keeping your feet squared and um, doing this. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. But you're pretty much just walking like a crab. Like that's all you're doing. And then that's how you get to each ball to pass. And then you can do it forward. You can do it backwards. You can do it. You're just you're just low and like walking. And then you can do it faster. And you should you should learn how to do it really fast. Um, but then once you start going really fast, it's more of like a hop. And that's footwork. Here's some footwork drills you can do to get better. One is just shuffling and then stopping on your outside foot and then shuffle back stop on your outside foot um, that's more for like short distance passing but if you like when the ball is really far away you're gonna have to cross over so you can do karaoke and that's just cross over back over back and then same thing over back over back all right oh wow <laughs> And then I'll do one a little farther. Yeah, I don't know, I guess that's Ooh. fine. <laughs> oh. Okay, step one is getting ready position. Um You're almost there, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, but your feet are a little too close together. Make sure you get them a little wider. Perfect. That's nice. Now your arms are a little too far out in front of you. You want to have them relaxed in front of you so you're ready to move and run, you know. And one thing that's very important, especially in the higher levels, is that your knees are bent and your shoulders are forward. Bam. You're ready to move forward in any direction. We should be comfortable. So the goal here is to be balanced. I mean, that's the main thing is to be balanced and low so to where if I push you, you don't, you don't fall over. <laughs> Are you ready? Get in ready position. <laughs> Almost there, Patrick. Oh, good job. Thanks. Now step two is the platform. Put your platform together. Oh no, okay. Okay. Almost there, Patrick. Uh, it's almost, not quite it, not quite it. So what you want to do is have one of your hands, I prefer my left hand to be in front on the bottom and then your other hand to overlap so your fingers are kind of like crossing like this. And then bring your thumbs together at the top where your fingers are at the end of your hand. Right? And this is how it should look. Easy. Bam. Nice shot, Patrick. Now that you have... Okay, bend your arm a little bit. Now that you have your platform out, that's good. But one thing you need to do is make sure your arms are straight. No bend in that elbow, Patrick. Perfect. Now you can control the ball with your angle and pass the ball well. Step three, passing the ball. When you pass the ball, you want to rotate your arms at only your shoulders. A lot of people make the mistake of going like this when it should only be your shoulders moving. Yeah, that is very important. And you don't want to give too much emphasis on the ball or it will be an overpass. Show them how it's done, Patrick. <sighs> oh, nice job, Patrick. Now let's put that footwork to the test. Almost there. You forgot to shuffle your feet. Oh. You took one step, but make sure you get both feet to the ball. Nice job, Patrick. 
Now one thing that's very important that people forget to do is call the ball. Patrick, can you call the ball? Yes. How do you do that? Mine! Very good. Mine! <laughs> <laughs> A little bit louder, Patrick. Me! Nice. You're almost at the Division I level. Now let's see that crossover. That crossover. Yours! That was yours! I like that you're calling the ball, Patrick, but there's nobody next to you, you idiot. Let's see that crossover step one more time. I go! Nice job, Patrick. I go. So you want to pass the ball around three to five feet off the net, but 20 feet in the air so your setter has enough time to, to get it. So now I'm going to show you some drills that you can do either by yourself or with the partner. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> now tennis, this is one of my favorite drills. Oh, yes! Wow! I'm so tired. It's a really good drill for footwork and ball control. And we have a winner. And that's how you, that is how you pass the ball. Stay tuned for setting. The next one. And more. We have more content coming. Um, soon to be Monday and Wednesday, 5.30. Um, I really like 